What is going on guys, Will here, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be talking about steps. So not that long ago, I posted a video of me walking 25,000 steps a day for 7 days, and the results and response from you guys was absolutely amazing. But you guys have been asking me a lot of questions like, Will, I'm from Canada, and when I go outside for a walk, I just get hit with this. Or do you know what? I get up at 6 a.m. every morning, I get ready, I commute downtown for work, I work a nine to five desk job, and by the time I get home, it is eight o'clock at night, I eat dinner and I have absolutely no energy left to walk. So how the hell can I get my 10,000 steps in? Guys, I got you covered, I always got you covered. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five life hacks that you can use to get your steps in on the DL, which is down low if you guys just are slow. So anyway, let's get this video started. <laughs> So I'm drinking a vegan shake, yes, a vegan shake. I'm going vegan this week, spoiler alert for the next video, so stay tuned for that. Look how much my mom messed up my sideburns. Yesterday I started to look like Elvis because they were down to here, so I was like, hey mom, can you give them a trim and then she completely just butchers them, they're all thin and stuff, but I still love you. Quick little disclaimer, guys. Uh, these tips I'm about to give you are not magic. You're still gonna have to walk, you're still gonna have to, you're just, you're just gonna have to move. I'm not gonna give you guys some like magical, like mythical tip, like hey guys, for your first tip, you're gonna have to go to the woods, find a fox, take a piece of its hair, bring it home, add it to your tea, turn all the lights off in your house, light 29 candles and start spinning and chanting around. And before you know it, you're gonna look at your watch and have 10,000 steps. No, guys, that is not how it works. You're gonna have to get up, you're gonna have to walk. Sorry to say it, nothing in life is that easy. Uh, if you guys would have done that, if I said that, I'd probably go see your doctor, I'm just saying that. Um, but anyway, that's all I wanted to say. So, bye. So tip number one is to walk when you brush your teeth. I'm no dentist, but you should be brushing your teeth at least twice a day for up to two to three minutes. I use this electrical toothbrush and it beeps me every 30 seconds for each corner of my mouth for up to two minutes. So instead of just looking at yourself in the mirror and saying how beautiful you are while you brush your teeth, start walking around for two minutes in the morning and night and the steps are really gonna add up and you're gonna be very surprised. Okay, so let's see exactly how many steps I get in two minutes of brushing my teeth. So my Apple Watch says I have 1,401 steps. So we will start the timer right now. All right, one sec. Okay, now my Apple Watch just needs to load and load, load. Okay, so it says you got 1,580 steps, so that is Yeah, so that's 179 steps, and you times that by two, and that's 358 steps just from brushing your teeth. So that's basically 358 steps that you didn't even have in your day. I feel like being a dog would be the best thing ever. You don't have to worry about steps. You don't have to worry about anything, do you? Except you eat the same food every day for every meal. I know, it sucks. Do you want me to leave you alone now? Yeah? Okay, bye. Ah. Tip number two, guys, is to drink a lot of water. While drinking water is not going to directly increase your steps, that's not what I'm saying, because if I, if I was saying that, I'd be lying to you, but it is going to indirectly increase your steps. Why? Because it's going to make you want to go to the washroom a lot more. And when you have to go to the washroom, hopefully you guys get up and go to the washroom and use the toilet, and that will cause you to get more steps. So... I drink a lot of water. It's almost impossible for me to go see a movie without having to go to the washroom like at least three times throughout the movie. So maybe don't drink water before a movie. But you know, if you're out and about, slam some water. If you're at the mall, you'll have to go find a washroom and the steps add up. Now it's time to hit the gym. Uh. Yeah. Siege, Riley, Taz, yeah. Set me free and give me death, there ain't no other choices. When I lay down and go to sleep, I keep on hearing voices. Little whispers in my head, man, is you fake or loyal? Why no water, death is sign of baby, pick your poison. These little demons living underneath my bed, creeping. 
Know the real, my son lives above them all sleeping That subtle breathing in your closet every single evening Thought you never see me again, looks can be deceiving When they hear the sound of the drum They'll be saying, oh Lord, here they come Yeah, here we come Huh, here we come <laughs> Here we come Here we come Okay guys, so I just got back from the gym, a good workout with Mr. Matt. He's the biggest arms in probably the world. Um, so tip number three is to not bring a water bottle to the gym. But Will, you just said you have to drink so much water. I don't understand, I'm confused, guys. I'm not saying don't drink water. I'm saying don't bring your water bottle to the gym and instead walk to the water fountain every single time. If I could give you one tip that gives me the most amount of steps, this is probably the one. When I go to the gym, I'm there for probably an hour, an hour and a half and I walk to the water fountain every single time and I probably get at least 2,500 steps from that because you're gonna have to walk from one end of the gym all the way to the other you know what, instead of just sitting there on your phone between sets, just walk to the water fountain, take a sip, come back, and that shit works. All right, so I'm just here eating a vegan macaron? Macaroon. Mac macaroon. It is coconut, almond meal, vegan chocolate, super good. I feel like to be a vegan, you just have to be very creative. It's been easy for me so far because someone has been making me nonstop vegan treats, so. Oh, fail. So tip number four, guys, is to make things less convenient. So take the time to do extra trips. For example, when you do the groceries, instead of trying to be a hero and get all the bags, go one at a time, like try to get more steps and it's gonna add up. It's kind of just like if you take the stairs instead of the elevator, just the small little things make a big difference. Tip number five, guys, the last and final tip is to walk during your commercial breaks when you watch TV. If you're someone like me who's easily entertained and you don't mind playing games by yourself, when there's a commercial, just get up and walk, get as many steps in as you possibly can before your show gets back on. And in this day and age, there's a lot of commercials. So usually when I'm watching TV, I'll just hop up and just start walking. When I hear the show come back on, I'll come back and sit down. Or if you don't really wanna walk away, just uh, get up and start jogging on the spot. You can probably get a lot of steps faster that way as well. Um, but that is pretty much it, guys. Those are my five tips that'll help you get 10,000 steps very, very easy. Not those tips alone will get you 10,000 steps, but they'll contribute to many thousands of steps for you. So hopefully these tips helped you in some way and you can utilize them for yourself. Um, if you guys like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video.